Hey gang, thanks for joining me here today. I am going to talk about a topic that comes up a lot and I hear this so much that I just thought I might as well just address this straight up and uh, give you some information about YouTube and about having a hunting YouTube channel and some things that a lot of people just don't know. There's a lot of uh, misconceptions and misinformation out there and just I guess um, ignorance of people that just don't know how YouTube works or um, I, I even run into people that go oh you can actually make money on YouTube well yeah you can make money on YouTube but there's people that are making million dollars a year a, a lot more than you think there's people making millions and millions on YouTube and uh, then there's people like me that are uh, you know it's just an income stream for me that uh, you know, I'm trying to grow it and uh, continue to make the effort worthwhile. I wanted to talk to you about what has worked for me, and uh, but mainly about the types of things that can create income from a YouTube channel to make it worthwhile. And I got to tell you straight up, it's a lot of work, and that you should really know that it is uh, way more work and way more cost than most people realize to make quality YouTube videos and uh, you know I've got several thousand dollars tied up in cameras and equipment and, and GoPros and and uh, tree arms that uh, mount to a, a tree when you're in the tree stand to hold your camera and editing software and things like that um, you can start pretty small with just a decent small camera maybe buy a GoPro and a and a thousand dollar camera or a DSLR and um, you know maybe invest twelve to fifteen hundred dollars in uh, you know used equipment and get started you can do a lot of stuff with your phone nowadays in fact there's a, a lot of people doing nothing but smartphone videos um, when they're doing mostly studio stuff which is what I'm doing right now of course but it's just a lot of work because there's just a lot of times when I'd rather just go hunting and and leave all this extra gear at home instead of hauling it in my backpack and setting up stuff on a tripod and, and to really produce good video it just takes a lot of effort you know when you see um, me walking away from the camera that camera is sitting on a tripod and I gotta go back and get it and turn it off and and carry it and then take it to the next spot and um, you know there's a a place where I'm riding a bike and then you see me coming up and then you see me going away well you have to realize that I had to park the bike and go up and set the camera up and then ride by it and then turn around and ride the bike back and then turn the camera and then ride by it again and ride out of sight and then turn around and come back and just take the camera down well that all is great it makes you know 10 seconds of really good footage and it took me 20 minutes to do it it's just a lot of work to, to create good footage and um, but it's worth it for me because I get a lot of value out of helping other people be successful and uh, if you're gonna have a hunting channel there's two things that you you have to kind of figure out which way you want to go do you want to entertain people or do you want to inform people and uh, I tried to do a little bit of both and primarily lean towards the information part of it because um, that's where I get the pleasure from it. I don't make very much money doing what I'm doing here, but I get the pleasure from helping other people be successful. And that's probably what drives me more than anything else. And so if you ever want to have a hunting YouTube channel, you have to ask yourself, what have I got to offer? You know, you could be just kind of a wacky personality like uh, Kendall Gray or something like that who people just watch it because they can't look away and he's just a friendly guy, a goofy guy and has, gets makes a ton of money on YouTube. Or you could be, uh, Jeff Sturgis is a guy that comes to mind. Um, he is a person who is a very good at managing land for white-tailed deer and, and he's a, a consultant where he'll go to your property and say, okay, put a food plot here, do this, do that. And he produces a lot of really good quality videos. He's got a lot of subscribers and making a good living at it. Um, for me, I got about 30,000 subscribers. And so it's just an income stream for me. And I, um, I started uploading video to YouTube probably 10 or 12 years ago, but never really got serious about it until about five or six years ago when I, when I just decided I'm going to really try to turn this thing into an income stream. 
and it's been fairly successful it continues to grow but uh, it's really hard to get a hunting channel to work on YouTube because YouTube is owned by Google and Google is owned by people who are not enthusiastic about hunting and trapping and things like that so you gotta realize that and and this is frustrating but it's just a reality that we live in and if, if you know Google is not trying to promote wildlife conservation type issues they are more about social issues like for example it's it's a real struggle to get YouTube to push a hunting video that I produce or to show it to more people and it's it's more of a pull than a push and so I, I guess I should describe that a little different where actually the people out there um, are searching and looking for certain things and then Google YouTube shows them what they're looking for but they diminish the content that relates to hunting and guns and stuff like that if if uh, if I was a gay guy showing how to put on makeup they'd splash it all over the world but I can produce a, a deer or bear hunting video and and it's a real struggle to get any traction that's just the reality you're dealing with Google and uh, with the people that are I mean I've had videos that they just demonetized them and they said you can't get paid for this video anymore I uh, had a video that was dragging a buck out on a deer cart and wheeling this buck on a deer cart and uh, somebody sitting in a high-rise in Seattle flagged it and said uh, okay we're not going to monetize this video because it shows animal cruelty well I've had that happen probably eight or nine times where they've demonetized my videos and I've, I, I decided to really fight for it and I felt like this one with the deer on the cart was a good opportunity to just fight for it so I started sending emails and actually got that one overturned since then I have a record of getting all but one of the demonetizations overturned and one video they just turned it into a 18 plus so anyone that's under 18 can't watch it and it just doesn't get it it's a video that was really climbing really good prior to the demonetization and even after I got the demonetization overturned it just never went anywhere it, it, it hardly gets any views at all now so they're able to control that so that that's just I just want you to be aware of the challenges that come with having a hunting channel if you're thinking about having a channel ask yourself you know what have I got to offer um, you know if you got a wacky personality or if you got good information and what really helps you grow is providing good information what have you got that other people don't have and so when I really looked at this I thought okay here's the things that I'm really good at and, and well known for and fortunately I'm well known for these things because I'm an outdoor writer and spent uh, the last 30 years writing for magazines and I write for Bear Hunting Magazine and have gained a lot of recognition through that and also doing seminars on bear and deer hunting um, I wrote a lot of deer hunting articles for different magazines on public land do-it-yourself whitetail deer hunting in fact I wrote the column in North American Whitetail on DIY public land hunting for quite a few years and so I already had a following when I really decided to try to get YouTube going and that that helped me and um, I don't think I'd be at 30,000 subscribers now if I hadn't but okay I'm getting kind of long here let's talk about the different ways that you can make money on YouTube and the first one is obviously it's that YouTube pays you a percentage of the ads that they sell and uh, so once you get your channel monetized and you have to have a thousand subscribers and four thousand hours of watch time I believe it is and once you get to that point YouTube will monetize your channel meaning they sell ads on your channel and they give you 60 percent and they keep 40 percent basically it's it's kind of vague about exactly what they're doing and it, some of the biggest channels like the ones like the, I'm, I'm talking you know the ones that have millions of views every time they come out with a new video like your Mr. Beast or Dude Perfect or some of those they actually have advertisers bidding on the spots so they're making a lot more money they're literally making millions and millions of dollars doing this um, 
my YouTube AdSense income runs about three to four hundred dollars a month on average. Um, it spiked up over eight hundred a couple of times, but right now that's pretty much where I'm at. So it's just an income stream. So that's just one of the ways to monetize is through YouTube AdSense owned by Google. Now the second way is I've got a couple of videos that have done super well and really went well and I signed a contract with Juke and Media where they actually um, pay me for those videos instead of I signed them over to Juke and Media instead of YouTube and even though YouTube shows them I get the check from Juke and Media and that's a hundred dollars a month and less here's the good part about um, some of these like uh, viral hog and there's there's four or five of them that will do this so they try to sell your content to other places and for example I've got a, a video of a moose running into our pickup and uh, was had a moose calves and we were trying to avoid this moose and get around it but this cow moose just kept attacking the truck and the video is called something like moose attacks our pickup or something like that the juke and media has sold sections of that video to animal planet um, Discovery Channel several times I probably made an additional fifteen hundred or two thousand dollars maybe off of those two videos that I have that they call viral videos my instructional videos on how to kill a deer on public land or how to bait bears will never qualify for that type of thing but it's just kinda nice to have that extra out there so that's the second way if you have a viral video um, you know that's the second way that you can make money off of it the third way to make money off of YouTube channels by selling merchandise to your subscribers and to your viewers and I personally don't do that uh, probably will at some point if my channel gets big enough that I feel like it's worth stocking inventory of hats and t-shirts or something like that but the bigger YouTube channels um, some of them make you know six figures a year or more just off their merchandise and uh, I don't know that I'll ever get this channel that big but uh, certainly would like to so the next way to make money on YouTube is of course sponsors and I actually make more money off of sponsorships than I do from any other way it's quite a bit more than my Google AdSense payments the between the, the I'll just say the whole YouTube experience that I do is about half of my income and over half of that half is sponsorships and it's companies that I work with that people that I, I mean companies I believe in their products and I use their products and most of the companies that I work with I actually was a user and a supporter of them before I actually signed a contract with them so I've got Wildlife Research Center which I really believe in their products and have, have used them for many years I've got Northwoods Bear Products and all of these companies they pay me either quarterly or annually or whatever in addition to um, giving me all the product I need and the only exception to that is Matthews bows and Matthews just gives me bows and so uh, you know I can I, I use one obviously for myself and then um, the other bows that they give me I can decide do I want to use them for promotional purposes and give them away to grow the channel or do I want to sell them and turn them into cash to pay my bills you obviously can't take a new Matthews phase 4 to the grocery store to uh, to buy groceries so um, you know a lot of companies want to give you products and in fact most youtubers have a relationship with a company you're going to start out they're just going to give you some free stuff and eventually if you prove your way and uh, you can work your way up that you're actually getting a paycheck as well so I've got you know the companies that you see me using their products on you on this channel typically they're companies that are giving me the products and paying me to use them I just want to be really really clear that I would never support or promote a product that I don't believe in and uh, I'm very selective I've turned down way more companies than I actually use because it's just they're not things that I believe in or think that I would use enough to make it worthwhile so in relation to the sponsorships is what's called affiliate marketing and affiliate marketing is 
when you have a relationship with a company that you're promoting their products and you're getting paid for what they sell, I guess is basically the way that's a simple way to put it. For example, um, I have an affiliate marketing agreement with Huntworth Clothing and you know that I love Huntworth Clothing and I wear the stuff all the time and it's so easy for me to be enthusiastic about a product that I really really love and that's where I'm at with Huntworth Clothing. I just love their stuff and so I got an agreement with them where I can give my, my viewers a discount and then I get a kickback. Using Huntworth Clothing or talking about Huntworth Clothing, I will put the discount code on there that you can go online to Huntworth, uh, Huntworth Clothing and um, use this discount code and uh, you'll get 20% off and then I get a kickback from everything that sells and so you know every couple months I get a check from them in addition to the annual payment that they make me and so that's um, a really once you get a big enough following and people uh, you got people have to trust you. you you have to prove and here's the and that's the thing about YouTube let me kind of back up here a little bit is that you know if, if you're just producing videos that people are looking at going ha ha that's funny or whatever um, there's not much of an opportunity for affiliate marketing but if you are engaging your viewers by giving them good quality information that they can use to be more successful the affiliate the affiliate marketing and the sponsorships are much much easier to do because you're actually people are following you because they're getting something good every time they watch one of your video and that's what I really try to work hard at is giving good information that will help people people don't I don't think people buy Huntworth just because um, that's what Bernie's wearing and I want to be like Bernie I think they buy Huntworth because they know I believe in it and then they buy some in fact I just talked to a guy the other day he just bought a Huntworth pants and shirt used the discount code and he loved them so much he just bought another five or six hundred dollars worth of stuff he was telling me about that he um, used that discount code because he just he liked it so much and that's where I, I just feel really good about that because everybody wins you know, Huntworth wins because they sold stuff. I win because that guy's really happy with me, and he wins because he's got stuff that he really likes. And so when you're thinking about sponsorships, you're, you're trying to create an environment where everybody's getting paid. You know, everybody's getting something good. That's, that's the way I look at sponsorships instead of just like, okay, I'm going to go show this on a video. Here's this product, you know, blah, 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 and uh, where's my check? Um, I'm trying to create an environment where everybody gets something of value and, and that's where I'm at with the companies that I'm working with. So having a good YouTube channel can lead to other ways to make money and, and for me I was already doing sports show seminars and things like that but for some people they've just become famous through YouTube and I, I think of the hunting public as a group of guys that uh, just started a, a short time ago and grew super fast because they're producing terrific content that it has a good mix of fun personalities and of good information and just intriguing content they've done super well they have provided opportunities for them beyond just YouTube by by doing that and so my hats off to them they're really good at what they do and they do a lot of the same things that I do as far as the do-it-yourself in the public land hunting and so forth. It's just that I guess they're more fun guys than I am or something because I've been doing this a lot longer, but they're super, uh, I just can't say enough good about those guys. And, and they got a, a system that really, really works. And uh, they're, I mean, they're just doing it right. So one thing that I should mention before I close here is that most YouTube channels do not grow very well on their own. You've got to figure out a way to promote them. And for me, you know, whenever I was doing, a, say, a bear hunting seminar um, in Michigan at a sports show or whatever, at the end of the seminar, I would just put my YouTube channel uh, link up on the screen. And I see people were writing it down or they were going in their phones and and uh, I think I gained a lot of subscribers by doing that. Um, I mentioned it in a magazine article whenever I could. Through social media, I've had a little bit of growth. 
Um, Facebook hates YouTube, so don't think you're going to grow YouTube through Facebook. You put a video on there, it's not going to get much traction. It's just, just the reality of it. Um, uh, fa Facebook just won't promote YouTube. One of the best ways that I have helped grow my channel is having a video that has good information and then I'm on a bow hunting website and somebody asks a question about, you know, what tree stand should I use for a do-it-yourself public land hunt? Well, I got a video on that, so I just post a video. Depending on the website, I might look on there and shoot that video. That that link that I posted might have gained, in some cases, 1,500 views on that video and three, four, five new subscribers. So you grow slow, but you have to. That's what you have to do. It takes work to grow it. Well, you need to keep producing content and keep the stuff coming to keep people engaged and. Uh, like I said at the very beginning, it's just a lot of work. You gotta love it. And I, this got really long, and I, I could sit around the campfire and talk about this for hours. And I love talking to other YouTubers about it. And I, I go to trade shows like the archery trade show in Indianapolis, and just talk with other YouTubers and and you know what's working for you and what's working for me and you know things like that. I could talk about it for hours. You can tell I'm pretty passionate about it and I would like to continue it to grow. I'm at a point in my life where and I have the experience that I can spread to other people, help them be more successful. So that's really what I'm uh, motivated by mainly. Thanks for watching. I hope this has been interesting or informative or uh, whatever. If you're interested in starting your own YouTube channel or growing your channel, or whatever please leave a comment below if you have any questions or if you have anything you'd like to add to it I'd be happy to try to answer each of your questions just uh, thanks for being a part of this channel it means a lot to me uh, like I said it's a lot of work but it really helps me be able to fund the things that I love to do and for that I'm genuinely grateful to all of the subscribers and the viewers so thanks a lot we'll see you on the next video